Hello, welcome back. Today is day 12. If you have some, ooh, I almost spilled it. If you have something to drink, let's get this party started. Today, we'll, we will be reviewing the Nine of Pentacles. Today's lesson will be using your response to the image. Day 12, Nine of Pentacles. Finding yourself kept inside a place of possessions. So our numerology is 77 and 5. Astrology is Venus in Virgo. And our quick connections. The world is wise to have provided me these challenges. Meditation. Security is a prison of your own making. Let's jump in. This card, the Nine of Pentacles, has always been seen as more like the kept woman card. The restriction of a situation which is controlling, though not totally unpleasant. And it's possible that it's the image of the hooded bird on her wrist that uh, speaks of restrictiveness. The wild bird is not free, although it is well looked after. This card is interesting. The text and the image may trigger a different reaction for everyone. Are there any cards that do this for you? The Nine of Pentacles says, I want for nothing. I am content here within the gardens of bounty. I am secure in the safety of my haven. However, my security comes with a price, a lack of thrill and risk. Keywords for the Nine of Pentacles, my friends. Security, uh, weighed down, maybe bound by security. Captive, blessed, held to ransom, hostage, solitary enjoyment, completion, safety, accomplishment, prudence, retirement, and independence, and oh, so many more. To connect with the Nine of Pentacles, we need to meditate in the garden. Pick or buy some flowers. My friend, dress well. Pamper yourself, as in luxuriate. You are blocking the Nine of Pentacles today by one, downsizing, giving all your worldly possessions away, and going backpacking. You are blocking this card today by doing a detox, depriving yourself of your favorite treats, such as chocolate, coffee, beer, a glass of wine, any other pleasures in life. You are blocking this card by number three, by not letting yourself go for the day. Avoid grooming and lounging around in sweats, saying to yourself, I don't care what anyone thinks of me. And you're blocking this card today by number four. Looking into starting a whole new career and adopting a whole new lifestyle. Taking a risk for a change. Let's look into the various meanings of the card. The card in your life reading, the Nine of Pentacles, Career and financially indicates a right and fair balance of responsibilities and attribution of reward. All those involved in any project will receive their fair share and entitlement. If you are managing your own affairs, you must carefully balance how you reward others. This card can also indicate a donation from a sponsor. Health-wise, 
This card indicates a weighing up of all that has passed before. It may indicate the requirement for new information and the assistance of others. There is unlikely to be significant progress at this time. In relationship, this card indicates a need to write off domestic responsibilities and a fair division of labor. Both parties must share equally from the rewards of the relationship itself. This is not a time for overdoing charity. And it may be that you need to make harsh, harsh decisions. In travel and lifestyle, this card indicates the requirement to be self-sufficient and fully funded no matter what the source of the funding may be. It can indicate the need to budget carefully and to be realistic about one's resources. Even the most visionary plan requires a constant stream of funding, whether it be your time, energy, or finances. And in education, this card indicates the ability to make careful decisions about one's learning plan. It may be that you have taken on too much in terms of your experience and abilities. It is time to take a good hard look at what you can realistically accomplish. You may also have to consult others in order to gain insight from the outside. Spiritual awareness and development, this card signifies a new current of excitement and enthusiasm led by someone else. You will benefit from the grace of others in what they can share and teach you. This is not a time for false pride. Rather, it is a time for being open to others. And that's day 12, nine of pentacles. If you like this type of content, I hope you give my video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. We would love to have you in the family. You guys, I hope you have the best day ever. I'll see you in the next video.